Hello again. So last video, I talked a fair bit about the positives that in these perilous times when so many people have either no work, no income, or whatever, that we can maintain some income through teaching online. And if that's taken us way out of our comfort zones on the Everest climb out of our learning curves, then so be it, we get on with it. And I call in on help for people when I need, like Kathy, um, who's much more tech savvy. I think- I took MooTech before it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go MooTech, you'll have to tell me later. Okay, so I will say that there have been fun times. Uh, teaching groups in a small studio can be mayhem. We have fun and therefore it's even more mayhem. But having the case of sometimes youngsters one-on-one, -on -one, and on my YouTube channel, I, with parental permission, showed photographs of one who gave, um, had her Zoom lesson and she was on Noosa Beach. And I went, oh, it's too long since I've been there, but I liked seeing that. And because she was one-on-one -on -one instead of two or three in the group, we covered so much. She learned three pieces in half an hour, or was it four? And then another lovely little joker, also aged eight, <laughs> came on with a box on his head. Okay, and sunnies. But then when we have kids with banana back because of the weight of the instrument, we've talked about this, haven't we? The box came into good use. The box went on his knee, didn't it? It was a bit angular, but he kept off his knee, his leg. So I had a big joke over that. I Actually, there's a, uh, <laughs> there's a there's uh, a comedy trio from um, uh, Ireland called oh. um, Foil Arms and Hog. I'm a yeah. huge fan of them, yeah. um, and they've been doing videos. Right, they actually did um, a failed huh? maths lesson, <laughs> 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 and so yeah, it had. Um, I didn't realize this with a zoom but you could have you know so the you know the 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 kids would say oh you know hi mister what are you doing in a tracksuit sir i'm at home dylan you know? <laughs> and so these um <laughs> so, yeah so you know the kid would love like a a funny background it was yes. like it's very funny dylan um and there was another one that managed to um uh splicing uh, the teacher and it was like what are you do, doing here so you know you should be social distancing oh. <laughs> and then there was another one that uh, decided to um go to the toilet and take his phone <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. and then there was a, then there was another one that uh, was very subversive and yeah. he had a hoodie and he uh, and he started going teacher you know, so he started abusing oh. the teacher. And, and in the end, the teacher said, um, you know, I'm sick of all this. I don't care if you fail your exams. I'm done. I'm going to watch Tiger King. <laughs> and then there's that one nerd who was still there at the end going, uh, uh, are we still? Are we, is this going to be on the test? <laughs> so, yeah. But there has been a lot of fun come out of it. You know, the jokes were a bit over toilet paper jokes, but yes. And I've also had the interesting opportunity to get to know people better. Like, okay, in order to use this platform, okay, well, you better friend me and I'll accept your friend. And then I see she's got a lovely picture of goats. And I say, ah, oh, so you've got um, goats. Oh, yeah. When she needed a breather, 10 minutes later, I said, are they, what sort of goats are they? Um, do you think you, are you making cheese or milk? Oh, no, they're billy goats. Ten minutes later, this is a more advanced student. Ten minutes later, when she needed a breather, I said, do you hire out your goats? Our backyard is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a goat would fix it in no time. Tony, Tony yes. not been getting out the, uh, oh, get the mail well, motor on a regular basis. We can move between <laughs> yeah. two places, which is another issue I'm up against. And uh, having the right music in whichever studio I'm at is quite a tricky one. So I've had a, a big folder of... <laughs> Uh, who did what and what music they all need just to get me through. But um, um, I yeah. find as a, you know, sort of, well, I wouldn't call myself a, a YouTube star, but, uh, oh, go on. How many you know, I've had, I, yeah, I've had over a million views, all right, but I've been here for, you know, yes. a decade, but actually about 13 years now. 
um, is that uh, it brings people together from yeah. all, all, all over the world. the world. I mean, I've got yeah. um, I've got face. I mean, people actually really care about you. I mean, yes. you're you're beaming directly into their yes. living room. Yes. And um, if you're um, obviously when you're teaching. Um, and even when you're playing, they get a sense of your yes. personality. Yes. And um, I've um, developed a wonderful friendships. So yes. there's, a, there's a bloke in Canada. Yeah. Uh, there's another lady um, in England. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I, um, uh, I mean, you get, you get some really nasty yes. comments. Uh, I've actually lost quite a bit of weight, uh, and oh, people yeah. notice that. Yeah. You're um, yes. Um, and. Um, yeah, so I was, uh, uh, but they do get dread. They 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 sort of think they get to know you, and they get dreadfully Personal. concerned. No, well, I don't. I don't yeah. mind. Yes. You know, I mean, I, uh, you know, as I said, I've made I've made friends with sure. these people. <laughs> yeah. But um, I was uh, recording um, some Yezueldo yeah. madrigals. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this guy was quite ahead of his time, uh, yeah. a Renaissance. Yes, but quite. Yes. chromatic uh the yes. stuff's incredible <laughs> yeah. and i got i got a youtube comment that said are you okay <laughs> mm -hmm. and i said yeah <laughs> i love this stuff yeah. <laughs> but it was you know they they really they really really care and and and, yeah. it, and it's um yeah so it's funny that uh you know sort of in the days where you know that we can't get together with our sure. mates that you can make uh, intimate contact. connections yes. and it's really it's yes. really polarized yes um yeah. and yeah facebook's yeah. wonderful and we've with been the... having zoom with the family mm. i so miss having my grandsons over mm. once a week <laughs> i'm so missing it but tomorrow we will have a zoom family meeting and the son who has a significant birthday coming back up we'll have to do that and just keeping in touch with friends and people like that, we are very blessed, as long as we can embrace it. And that many of us resisted, but once you get through the, <sighs> it's impossible phase. I mean, I love mm. Facebook Messenger. Yes. Because yeah. uh, they're free phone calls. Yes, true. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's good actually about Skype and Messenger, yeah. Facebook Messenger, yes. is that you can type as well. Sure. So if you were to, and I've given lessons over Skype. Yes. Is that sometimes you're typing? Yes. As much as you're talking, but it gives you a wonderful written record sure. of the uh, conversation. Early in the stage when I was not very adept at it, I was just getting there. I had a group lesson. Some people are in a group of two. One was on Zoom, and the other, for some reason or other, turned up on I forget whether it was Messenger or Facebook or. FaceTime or Skype, and it was tricky because must have when have one three played, options. when one played, the other cut out. So I guess for that reason, I'm trying to use Zoom mostly. Mm -hmm. um, I wish they would let me program people at quarter past instead of half past, but um, I can see the sense in it. Um, my husband's used Microsoft platform, Teams. And I may try that too, but at least I've got three or four options. And it's also good. I sent out a, a letter to all my email to all my students saying, well, this is the protocols and, you know, we should have a parent around because sometimes you see into their bedrooms and you're thinking, oh, oh this could be tricky. But at least, you know, the parent is there. But then again, one student that I had a very productive lesson with a week ago came back the next week and um, I wasn't getting any sense out of her at all. And then I discovered, ah, oh, she couldn't really play. She was inhibited because her mum was running a work conference call at the same time. Did I just cut the lesson short or did I plod on a bit? I don't know. It was just a very touchy thing. So we're, we're seeing into lives in ways that we didn't have before. I'm getting to know more parents much better than I did, the ones from schools especially. Um, and I get to notice the ones that have their music propped up on the, the case or on somewhere, a bookshelf, and don't own a music stand, and their posture goes banana back. Um, and it's, ah, oh, that's what. 
<laughs> I get you. And um, it's been a lot of um, positives out of it. Some of the things that challenged me, um, I wonder, we mentioned before that I have to teach them to adjust their reads and not do it for them anymore, which is fine for older students, but eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, well. <laughs> um, but prodding fingers onto keys and holes, there was one clarinet student who had lessons in a group, and he always used to put his finger on there and then run out of holes. <laughs> and when I had him by himself, I think I managed to get the finger... D finger, D lower for down under, D for down under, right? Um, I hope I did. We had a holiday since and I will look forward to seeing it. But having sometimes one-on-one -on -one where they're usually in groups has been a help. Uh, I would love to be able to write in the notebooks and see what I wrote the week before, but I just have to follow up with either post-it notes like my little at-home work uh, or that one, or else email or the video or the whiteboard, take a photo of it. But I guess one of the ones that stands out as being particularly tricky was there was a rhythmic issue um, in a book from my colleague Mark Walton. And we were playing great clarinetist. Have yes. you been following his Cavallini caprices? Oh, not lately, no. Mm. That's his um, there is Corona. So Project. Oh, is there? There is so much out there on, on YouTube, I can barely... No, 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 this is Facebook. Facebook, I mean, yeah. Um, so anyway, I put her on to Papageno thinking, we can't go far wrong. And we'll I'll, I'll screenshot that and I'll... Uh, yes, sure. And I'm saying, oh, the rhythm, though, at uh, uh, such, line three, such and such, that should be ta a uh, tiki tiki ta a uh, ti ti ta She was, no, 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 your page is different. Oh, well, okay, where the mezzo forte is, TT, all right? TT. <laughs> and so she goes to another mezzo forte. <laughs> and then I discovered, apparently, Mark had put out a new edition with the same cover <laughs> and spaced the pagination differently. <laughs> oh, dear. So, you know, you're holding things up and doing this, which is such a tricky one. No, no, there, I mean. <laughs> no, she says. And um, when I've got my usual... Or put that wrong note, you know, I want a highlighter. You have to put the highlighter on the B that's not a B flat. Things like that. Have you got your pencil there? You're going to write this. So we've got to get them to be a bit more independent, if the truth be told, and make their own ideas for themselves. And I suppose that's the, the best aim of teaching, that we're not going to just force feed and do it all for them. We've got to get them thinking for themselves. And this is where YouTube's a great medium mm -hmm. Because there's so many, uh, you know, apart from my silly little videos. Oh, uh, you're so modest. <laughs> um, and I've done every aspect of clarinet yeah. technique and quite a bit of the, <laughs> You've done the repertoire. Yeah, I've done. I, I, yeah. I've done. Mm. I got a lot of time on my hands. But, um, uh, is that um, there's many, many very, very fine uh, clarinet teachers. Yes, true. Uh, you know, from top. Conservatories yes, yes. and music schools yeah. that um, have their own online lessons. I mean, if you type yeah. in online clarinet lessons, sure. uh, you'll get. To, uh, so yeah. you know, if they they can they can be proactive and. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, I've had people ask me on my videos, um, "Oh, um, how do you do this?" And I says, "Well, look at my video that I have done. You know, yeah. I have prepared it." <laughs> um, <clears throat> I actually had a website, kathywilliams76.com, and uh, it was huge. I, I got rid of it because um, GoDaddy um, is really expensive hosting, oh, and yeah. it was a, it was a huge site. I mean, it had Did hundreds you lose of all the pages. content. Well, I mean, it's still all on uh, yeah. YouTube. Yeah. All the videos. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, YouTube. Because yeah. actually, the way I got into YouTube teaching um, was uh, when I first got a video camera. Yeah. You know, I recorded all my performances. Yes. Uh, that was brilliant. Um, and uh, I, um, just for fun, because I uh, couldn't um, at home obviously play with anyone else or play with the yeah. piano or anything, yeah. or actually I got around that yeah. a little bit later, uh, thanks to Music Minus One and Smart As music. long as it's the tempo you wanted. 
Oh no, you can you, you can, can you can you can take it. True. You can you can um yeah. I can I've got mid tech training, I can yeah. fix that. Um but um I would start um uh, recording solo stuff. Yeah. So I think the first video I ever put out actually was uh, just before my my wedding was uh the Stravinsky three pieces. Wow. Um, and I started uh, recording Rosé Etudes. Oh, now I've been needing that number one. Uh, Lord, what do you, know, I know. I've been you know there's another book. Student. You know there's another yeah, edition got... that's based on the Furling Etudes. Oh, right. Uh, and it's got some extra stuff. There's 40 Etudes and there's 32. There's 40, there's 40 and there's 32. And there's but, two. Yeah. No, yeah. well, the 40 is in book 20. One and twenty and yeah. twenty-one forty. I actually had a rosé site for a while too, yeah. but uh, GoDaddy is expensive. Yeah. But but all the videos are there. But anyway, I record the rosé etudes, and uh, people would ask questions, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking there's a there's a market there. Yes. Uh, so I started making a sort of fifteen minute mini masterclasses because yes. at the time you could only have fifteen, 15 minutes on yeah. YouTube, yes. you know, and they were quite popular, and yeah. um. Uh, um, and even though I had the restriction yeah. of, um, you know, 10 minutes or 15 yes. minutes, uh, you can break these things up. Yeah. And uh, I think I, I think I did. span, maybe people didn't want longer. Mm. Yeah, uh, but I'll, I'll talk about, you know, in yeah. the next video, yeah. I'll talk about uh, yeah. someone I'm, I'm very keen to talk about. Yes. Uh, yeah. Who's very inspiring. I heard uh, a lot about it? him already. It sounds brilliant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that. Um, Share it on my channel too. Oh, I was going to post this on your oh, channel. Good. No, no. That's oh, right. share the link. Yeah, if you yeah. if you do that, um, because I will go and have a look at his work too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but uh, nothing to do with music, by the way. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but you I've know, we're all we're all here we're all lately. here to learn. Yes. So, um, well, this guy predates dinosaurs. <laughs> Well, actually, depending on which story he's telling. But anyway, um, so I, I've actually done like 10 part series yes. where I just do a stream of consciousness thing and uh, I'm getting very philosophical and uh, I'm talking about, um, I think, tone, breathing and uh, getting, a, you know, sort of bearing your soul through the instrument or something. Yeah. So, yeah. so these are all sort of my early videos. Yes. And then, um, then I got hold of Music Minus One I've got piano accompaniment. Yes. So then I start doing videos on the Brahms sonatas and the Mozart clarinet concerto and the quintet. Um, and I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I, I uh, did my first multi-tracking effort yeah. with duets for one. Yes. Uh, it was a concert I did. Yeah. Uh, although, um, I mean, it was very primitive at the time. I hadn't done any of the Mutang no. stuff. This was back in 2000 and eight or seven or whatever no 2009 i think um and i would uh you know record the lower clarinet part mm -hmm. and then uh while that part was playing over the speakers yes. i would record yeah. the other clarinet uh yes. part but um actually i actually, I, I, I had uh, yeah. i had fans actually um with the Brahms sonatas yes. yeah that um when clarinet players, yes. they'll be all the players. Yeah, oh, that'd be right. But also, when I was learning with Thea King in London, she would record both parts of the Brahms because Brahms's, because she was a brilliant pianist before she turned to clarinet, mm -hmm. and she also did the um, Mendelssohn Concertstück, playing clarinet, basset horn, and keyboard, and I just thought that was amazing because that was a while ago. And nowadays we can do so much that you. Well, can I came them. upon smart music. Oh, we're going to use that in in Noosa, Yeah. Um, Good Shepherd Primary. I had a subscription to it a few years mm. ago, and I let it lapse, and we're going back mm. onto that. But um, if you buy a little bit of the paraphernalia, uh, there's a pedal you can get, so that because I've actually played with smart music live for yeah. a concert. And I love it. It's uh, it's 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 far more advanced than Music yes. Minus One, which is just a straight yeah. recording. Yes. Because um, so if you use the pedal, you can start the recording whenever you like without. You don't have to do yeah. that, mm. which looks a bit clunky. But yes. um, it hooks up. I think if you like, I think it hooks up to a microphone, mm. and um, it it has places where it'll wait for you. Yes. So da 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 da
da da. Yeah, and you go da 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 da. And it will wait for you yes. to go da 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 da. So, could you post on the channel also um, what the pedal is and the costs in your average? Oh, it's like 21, 20 bucks or something. Oh, well. Well, actually, if you go to Smart Music, you can order it off. Sure. That can. Well, I mean, I, I don't know how much of it has been updated um, since I last yes, used it. Yes, because it was half a dozen yeah. years ago that I let my subscription mm. lapse. Yeah, but with um, but with smart music, uh, it's an incredibly um, efficient teaching tool. Yes. Because I, I found, I find that um, as you get more advanced as a clarinet player, the piano part's just as important. Yes, oh, that's partly why my I mean, piano Brown. playing. My Brown. piano playing, I do easy peasy sometimes, mm, mm. but I sometimes steer advanced students away from Brahms because it is so frustrating when you know the slow movement of the F minor is so gorgeous with those downward mm. bass notes that I can't resist sitting down and pretending to play it. And of course, it's not a very good look. And it is so frustrating as a teacher that I can't do a Thea King and accompany students on something like but that. But smart music. Because so it's a whole, mm. the piano part is more important than the clarinet more often than not in brass. And there's some weird stuff where um, I know at the end of the E flat major right towards the end you the piano's going ba da da 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 so it's doing like a hemiola thing yes i didn't know that no i didn't know that until because you do it by yourself and then you oh, well no you. because even when you've gotten together like you know at the conservatoriums yeah. nowadays you only get together with the pianist mm. um say the lesson before workshop and then yeah. you play it on workshop and you hadn't got time for and the you detail. don't appreciate those little <sighs> subtle things um, and uh, and also accompanists aren't perfect. No, I mean I know Mitchell is mm, brilliant. <laughs> yes, but it is true that if you want the complete music experience, especially with the higher level mm. students, it's very frustrating when they're only doing a single line instrument. But you see now, smart yeah. music yeah. brings that yes. into your studio, and, and you yes. can adjust. Uh -huh. The tempo. And I will thank you for putting me onto the Clarinet Institute flash oh. drives. This year, trying to think what would I give my ensembles, I have been like a pig in mud. Oh, did you get the USB? I did. I did. And I have had so much music that they have got to learn and now we're in isolation and I'm a little frustrated that we couldn't go on and use a fraction of them, but I will. We will. No, well, you see, I could. Um, um, yes. See, the thing is, if they, um, you can get these multi-tracking programs for free uh -huh. online, and what you do is um, you record your bit onto your line, yes, and then you Dropbox it to the next person, and, and they have, record their bit on it. Do you have to have a click track? Uh, there are click tracks in the yes. in the program yeah. because I was f absolutely f um, inspired by Australian Story put out, and it's on my. Uh, Facebook music page, a link to it. Um, what used to be pub choir, mm. and of course with isolation there's now couch choir. Oh, that was brilliant. And there were so many people, and it was obviously a week's work to sync all those people, but the mm. result was just brilliant. And isn't this a marvellous thing that people aren't as isolated as we think we are? We can be out there relating musically, relating as people, checking in on people, and I'm actually rather glad that, oops, um, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that we have person to person. Hello. For a well, chat. We, we live in the same suburb. Yes. <laughs> Ruth taught me, and this will probably date Ruth, oh, <laughs> when I was 12. Gosh. I know, a little longer. Oh, that's like, oh, shh. <laughs> Yes, we're both we're both we're both twenty nine. We we wear well. Can like, I um <laughs> can I say that I uh you know and finally uh, using my Mutex skills yeah. um I use a program called Logic ah, Pro yes. X. I like it uh, because actually I can make my own accompaniments too. Yeah. Um. Uh. And I can yeah so I can actually make my own accompaniment uh, I either directly into Logic which is quite 
time consuming. Uh, what I do actually is uh, make a. I uh, have a. You could use uh, like Sibelius or Finale I was in there. Thinking that must be like Sibelius. Yeah. So, so what you do is you is you plug all the notes into this music program. I use Notion on my iPad. I like it. It's very simple. Um, but uh, so what you do is you plug all. Uh, and it's very time consuming. I, but, uh, okay. you know, I've got a lot of time yeah. on my hands, yeah. and I'm very determined. Yes. You plug all the notes in, turn it into a MIDI file, plug it into, um, I plug it into Logic. So I import the MIDI file into Logic. Sometimes with Notion, actually, I like the software instruments in Notion more than I like mm -hmm. in Logic. Um I don't know, they seem more... Are these seem easier more... to manipulate than Sibelius, which yeah. I started learning yeah. several times yeah. and didn't have time to yeah. complete? Yeah. Well, I have a little, I have a little um, Wi-Fi uh, um, keyboard, yes. uh, which makes things easier. Like, you just... You just, like, you just play it, and then you can doctor the rhythm if it's... No, 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 well, that, no, I actually want... Exact, no, I'm a little it? bit more meticulous than that. Um, I actually enter note by note by note by note, especially if you're in a romantic piece and you've got about three lines, or even a baroque piece actually. Let's go. But uh, but yeah, so you turn it into a MIDI file uh, because by turning it into a MIDI file, that allows you to doctor the uh, tempo. Yes. Whereas um, if you turn it into like a WAV or MP3, um, and I do that. Um, I do that because I like the sound of the software. Sometimes I don't like the sound of the software instruments mm. in Logic. Mm -hmm. I mean, as good as as good as they are, they do know. sound a bit yes. Uh, and Sorry. also, there's there's certain subtleties, um, like uh, with the uh, the file that I get from Notion in yeah. terms of um, you can get dynamics and like oh, little yeah. and articulations and stuff, which is which yeah. is which yeah. is really cool. Um, yeah, so I, I, I make my own accompaniments. That'd be useful. Yeah. But you need time, and so many of us, boy, by the time yeah. we've done our however many Zoom or mm. Skype or whatever lessons per day or week, I think this is one of the things that I'm acknowledging, that we've had Easter holidays, and I was just, oh, I just need to read a book, and I don't want to go near a screen. And next week we're I read my to... books off screens. I know. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> like a paging. <laughs> and this um, this is where we're at and we can do it. And I'm grateful that we can do it. But the headspace, as we know, um, we're getting better. We will get better still. But yes. That's why I call in an expert to say, come on, make it happen for Smiling me. Smiling like because... your cat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because there, I recognise my limitations, I have stretched beyond a lot of them, but when it comes to tech, there's a certain amount that I'm happy to offload. Happy, and thank you for that. <laughs> Actually, yes, but um, I, did, I do offer a disclaimer on Zoom. Um, you've got to check your security settings because people, um, people can hack you, uh, yeah. and people have been doing that. Actually, but Actually, what? My, my son said... Why do you keep sending me friend requests for such and such a site? And I said, well, I haven't been on social media that much this week. I wonder if that's where it happened. No, um, uh, no, no, no. Zoom, Zoom um, has uh, some, um, you know, hackers are very, very, very clever people. Mm -hmm. um, and they, uh, you know, they, there's, a, there's secu you've got to have the right security settings in Zoom or mm -hmm. people can hack you. And, you know, there's, there's really malicious people out there. They, they've, you know, but you know what's really funny? You know, we're, we're bringing ourselves yeah. into uh, our students' home. Yes. And one of the funny moments, um, and I've seen a few of these memes on Facebook yeah. as well, yeah. is family pets. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, there was a there was a, a particular meme on Facebook I saw um, that was uh, someone was uh, talking because yeah. I'm on a lot of cat pages. I'm a, I'm a cat freak. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not wearing my cat earrings today because I'm in music oh, nerd. I'm in music nerd mode. But <laughs> uh, but um, yeah. So this this meme was this lady was on. Um, you know, sort of Zoom with her CEO. Yeah. Because he comes and jumps in the lap. And yeah. uh, suddenly the talk isn't about work. It's like, is that a cat? 
Can I see the cat? I want to see. The cat. <laughs> and I've had my I've had my uh, cats yeah. um, video bomb me. Okay, like, it was funny because somebody pointed this out. I didn't um, I didn't notice it at the time. Yeah. But um, I was recording um, the four parts of Bach's Art of Fugue mm. um, for recorder quartet. You know, doing my multi my multi screen thing way before it was cool yeah and um i got a comment saying love the cat and i'm thinking uh no 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 recorded four recorders and i was watching the video and about two and a half minutes in um and i mustn't have noticed this at the time um on the bottom right hand corner uh where i'm playing the bass recorder part suddenly see his tail <laughs> and what had happened was that it was about three or four o'clock in the afternoon yes. which uh, according to my one of my cats well both yeah. actually both they're going to be screaming at me when i get home yeah. this afternoon. oh actually that's the point we better <laughs> look at that yeah, yeah hadn't hadn't fed him, hadn't fed him yet yeah. <laughs> and somebody and i i explained i said oh um this was actually another friend I've made on Facebook yeah. who's sort of been a fan of my YouTube channels. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, so I discovered that my cat had video bombed me uh, on one of my... And this is a serious video. This is box awesome. <laughs> Seventh <laughs> contrapuntus, if you mind. Love the cat. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think where would I find privacy settings in Zoom? Mm. And in fact, I'm just seeing. Anyway, yeah, well, you work. I'll, I'll you, work know, it out. you know, or I'll work it out. Yeah, yeah. Because that is an interesting one. Because I went, I actually went through my friends list and went anybody I don't actually know. I think I'll get rid of because maybe when my son said that might have happened, I went okay, that's it. And I had changed passwords recently, so. I didn't think that would be the answer. Anyway. Yeah, well, I actually, yeah, my Facebook and Instagram got hacked, um, and it was uh, quite benign actually because mm-hmm. they only posted once, and it was a sunglasses thing, mm-hmm. you know, a sunglasses ad. Um, like, luckily, like mm-hmm. they didn't completely hijack my mm-hmm. YouTube. Uh, sorry, my Facebook and mm-hmm. Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, I now have two-factor authentication, mm-hmm. so if anyone logs in from an unfamiliar computer, mm. everything is instantly locked out. Oh, wow. I then have to get a, a text, which I have to enter. So I have two-factor authorization mm-hmm. on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, well. Anyway, there's a lot that we can think about. Mm. We've covered quite a lot of mm. ground. So I think, yes. yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. leave that there. Yeah. and. Uh, Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget to sign up, uh, like, follow all the things that you do. If you'd like uh, Skype or video of some sort, online lessons, Zoom or whatever. I don't give those. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you can check out, you can check out my videos. Yeah, there, yeah, there, there. sure. Anyway, thank you for watching and keep looking up. <laughs>